Hey, what's up everyone? Did you know that strength training can not only build muscle, but can actually make your brain stronger and sharper? Also, would it be crazy to know that strength training can also slow down the process of aging tremendously? Well, today I wanna to share with you the secrets of strength training, what strength training is, the different types of strength training, and how to get a good foundation for those just starting out. Time to start tapping into that superhero strength. And no, you don't have to be as big as the Hulk to have great strength. Anyone and everyone can tap into this. And depending on your nutrition and the amount of reps and weight, you can either bulk up or just gain massive strength and even stay lean. So stay tuned as we dive deep down into these topics, offering insights and tips on how to incorporate strength training into your life, no matter your age or your fitness level. Even for those looking to lose weight, building muscle raises your metabolic rate and building muscle actually shreds fat. Let's see if we can really understand how to unlock our inner strength together. I want to get started by understanding what strength training is and all the different types of strength training you can do. Then we will get into how to get started with strength training and how to incorporate these workouts to work best for you. Strength training is a form of exercise designed to enhance muscle strength and endurance by exercising a specific muscle or muscle group against external resistance. This external resistance can be in various forms, including free weights, muscle machines, resistant bands, or your own body weight. The fundamental principle involves causing the muscles to work against a force to improve their strength over time. So if you're trying to bulk up and gain strength, you should be constantly adding more weight every week or two, which is called progressive overload. And then for those who want to stay lean or gain endurance through strength training, you can just progressively overload your reps and sets. For example, if you start by doing three sets of 10, try getting to four sets of 15. You can work your way up by increasing the amount of reps per set or even adding an extra set or two until you feel your muscles get exhausted. Then rest and go on to the next muscle or muscle group. Strength training also offers a wide variety of health benefits all across different age groups. It is instrumental in preserving and enhancing muscle mass, which naturally tends to diminish with age. But by engaging in strength training, individuals can develop stronger bones, manage their weight more effectively, and enhance their overall quality of life. This form of exercise is particularly beneficial in reducing the risk of osteoporosis, improving balance, and even managing common chronic conditions such as arthritis, back pain, obesity, heart disease, depression, diabetes, and even sharpens your thinking skills. Moreover, strength training has been identified as a key player in promoting healthier muscles, counteracting the age-related loss of muscle mass, and improving functional capacity, which is crucial for maintaining mobility and reducing the risk of falls in older adults. Another crazy perk is that it has also been associated with a longer lifespan and improved mood, serving as a complementary therapy for treating symptoms of depression. I mean, after knowing all this, why would anyone want to avoid strength training? I get it. Weights and machines can be a little scary at first, but this isn't the only way you have to do strength training. You can even do it right from home. To get started, you don't necessarily need access to a gym or expensive equipment. Simple bodyweight exercises such as push-ups, pull-ups, planks, lunges, and squats can effectively strengthen the muscles. For those looking to add variety or increase the challenge, resistance bands, free weights like dumbbells and barbells, or even household items can be utilized. Weight machines and cable suspension training offer additional options for those with access to more equipment or a gym. Now, for those new to strength training or returning after a hiatus, experts recommend starting with a warm-up, like brisk walking, or my favorite is the elliptical machine. This prepares the muscles for exercise and reduces the risk of injury. Your weight or resistance level should be chosen carefully to try and tire out the muscles after about 12 to 15 repetitions per set. Consistency and proper technique are crucial, so work on that before you start upping the ante. Also, I recommend starting with at least two to three 20 to 30 minute sessions a week, and then soon try to up that to about 45 to about an hour to see really significant improvements in your strength. I can't stress this enough, incorporating strength training into your routine not only improves overall physical health, but can also have significant benefits for mental well-being and quality of life. Okay, let's get into your training and intensity variation. This is for those who really want to make sure they are getting the most out of their workouts and gaining as much strength as possible each session. You want to utilize a range of about 75 to 85 percent of your maximum lift for most exercises with minimal work below 70 percent or above 90 percent. This range helps improve technique and lifting skills. Using a variety of exercises for the main lifts like paused squats or deficit deadlifts can prevent monotony and reduce the risk of overuse injuries. 
It's also essential to keep the volume for main lifts from low to moderate to avoid burnout and allow for sufficient recovery. Volume refers to the total amount of work done during a workout session or over a period of training. Volume can be calculated in various ways, but the most common methods include total repetitions and total weight lifted. The simplest way to measure volume is by multiplying the number of sets by the number of repetitions for each exercise, so sets times reps. For example, three sets of 10 reps would equal a total volume of 30 reps. And a more comprehensive method includes the weight lifted added into the calculation, so that would be sets times reps times weight. This method accounts for the intensity of the exercise. So for instance, three sets of 10 reps with 100 pounds would give you a volume of 3,000 pounds. The bulk of your training volume should come from accessory lifts while targeting all major muscle groups with sets of 16 to 15 reps. Accessory lifts are exercises that complement the main lifts like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses by targeting smaller muscle groups or specific parts of a large muscle. The main purpose of accessory lifts is to help improve your performance in the main lifts. These exercises should be performed two to three times per week, contributing to overall muscle development while minimizing the risk of overuse injuries from the main lifts. Aim for at least 10 intense sets per muscle group each week, going to near failure within the six to 12 rep range. The exact number of sets can vary based on individual needs and muscle group focus, with some requiring more volume for undeveloped areas. Training frequency, surprisingly, is less crucial than total volume. Muscle building effects are similar whether a muscle group is trained once or multiple times a week, provided the overall volume is met. An easy way to keep track of this is to write down everything I did that day in my phone's notes, and then when I get home, I have a spiral binder that I copy everything down that I do each day. This way, each week I don't have to try and figure out the amount of weight for each exercise and how many reps and sets I did last week. This makes it a lot easier to use progressive overload and enables you to slowly move up and up each week by either more reps and sets or more weights. Even writing down how long you rest in between each set is critical. For multi-joint exercises or your main lifts, a rest period of at least two minutes is recommended to allow for adequate recovery between sets. And then for your isolation or accessory exercises, rest in between 60 to 90 seconds. These rest intervals help optimize performance for the next set contributing to overall training effectiveness and endurance. Implementing bulking and cutting phases can facilitate muscle gain more efficiently than trying to minimize body fat changes. This approach allows for focused periods of muscle gain followed by fat loss, aiming for gradual improvements in body composition over time. Find out your calorie intake for bulking, maintaining, and cutting, and this will make bulking and cutting way easier if you stick to these numbers. Getting the right amount of calories and protein every day is as crucial as doing the workouts. I really saw so much more of a difference when I started writing everything down. For those really trying to lose weight fast, muscle hypertrophy can be achieved across a broad spectrum of loading zones with a moderate rep range of 6 to 12 reps while being particularly time efficient, as in try to keep your rest to 60 seconds or below and you'll be sweating like a professional boxer. Training in multiple rep ranges within a session or across different training blocks can optimize muscle growth. I've even started by alternating my reps per set. One week I'll do 10 to 15 reps per set, and then the next week I'll go heavier and only do four to eight reps per set. Keeping your muscles guessing can really help in gaining strength and burning fat. So in summary, this holistic strategy emphasizes not just the amount of weight lifted, but also the quality of exercises, the volume and frequency of training, rest intervals, and strategic planning of training phases. By focusing on these elements, you can maximize strength gains while minimizing your injury risk and ensuring long-term progress. I hope you got some good information out of this, and if you're just starting out, this could be a great foundation to start on. And even for those veterans out there, I hope this also refreshed your memory or you gained some good new tips to implement into your regimen. Thank you for staying until the end. If you enjoyed your stay here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great content. I'm just trying to give you guys the most valuable knowledge I've learned over the years and give you an easy path to gain that quality of life we all strive for. So I'll see you next time, and don't forget to flex with all this new knowledge and go out and glow with the results.